Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Field of Glory 2 on Paradox Gamer. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, we are about to continue with the tutorials here. And I am going for the uh, second tutorial. <clears throat> so let's read about that. That would be, uh, that would be Sicily in 277 BC. The second tutorial scenario will demonstrate deployment. In uh, 278 BC, the Greek cities of Sicily asked King Pyrrhus of Epirus to come and drive the Carthaginians out of Sicily. Abandoning his war against the Romans in southern Italy, he landed in Sicily and believed the Carthaginian siege of Syracuse. It is now 277 and Pyrrhus is advancing to engage the Carthaginians in central Sicily. You are King Pyrrhus. All right. Light troops can evade enemy charges, but may get caught, especially if the charges start their move close to them. And the whole evade mechanic is something you need to get used to. Let's see here's Paris and Sicily, Central Sicily 277. Objective is to route the enemy army by either routing 40% and not losing 25 or routing 60. So in the first one we, we get we got number A routed 40 without 25. So, Pyrrhus and Italy, King Pyrrhus, your army has been advancing in order of battle, but has encountered the enemy on a less than ideal battlefield. There are steep hills on either flank, the slopes are difficult or rough, and the tops are covered in broken ground. Your pike phalanxes are almost invincible on open ground, but should stay away from rough or difficult going. Your hoplites are also heavy foot and will be almost as badly affected by terrain as the pikemen. The cavalry and elephants should also avoid non-open terrain. Fortunately, you have plenty of Italian foot who are more lightly equipped than used to fighting in such terrain. You also have plenty of light infantry who are unaffected by terrain. Okay, It would be wise to reorganize your order of battle to match the terrain you can move your units to any highlighted square, either by dragging them or by clicking on the unit and then on the target square. You can also move your generals to different units or your units to different generals command. Okay. You're in deployment mode. You can dra drop, drag, move and swap units to any highlighted tile. Let's take a look at the battlefield here. Uh, let's move it around like that. Zoom out first. Okay, so we have the hills over here and here. Uh, veteran armored cavalry are slightly disordered by friendly elephants in an adjacent square. The fighting ability is slightly impaired. Mm. Elephants cannot be close to, or horses cannot be close to elephants. Also, horses cannot be close to camels. Uh, but I I don't remember if camels can be close to elephants. Not really relevant over here. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit and see what we got here. African spearmen. These guys. These African spearmen fight as a phalanx of spear armed heavy foot. They will find it difficult to stand up to Roman legionnaires or Macedon pikemen for long. As heavy foot, they are disordered by rough terrain and severely disordered by difficult terrain. Okay, and over here we have pony foot. These pony foot are the citizen militia of the Punic cities. They are armed with light spear and sword. They are brave but inexperienced and inadequate trained, so are unmaneuverable. They are medium foot, which means that they are more lightly equipped than heavy foot and hence not as inconvenienced by rough and difficult terrain. This gives them the advantage of such terrain. They are capable of fighting enemy foot or mounted troops in open terrain, but they are less resilient than heavy foot in, uh, when things go against them. Those are these guys. Pony foot are unsuitable terrain, unmoderately disordered. And then we have these guys, the tribesmen. It's a Gallic warband. These tribesmen rely on a volley of javelins and a fierce charge to disrupt their enemies. The deep formation adds impetus to their charge. They are unmaneuverable. The close formation means that they will, they will be disordered by rough going 
and severely disordered by difficult going. When on the offensive, they will follow up pushed back enemy foot owing to their high aggression and lack of discipline. I think we read that one in the, the other one, didn't we? Then we got mercenary hoplites. They fight in traditional Greek style as a phalanx of spear-armed heavy foot. They will find it difficult to stand up to Roman legionnaires or Macedon pikemen for long. As heavy foot, they're disordered by rough, difficult terrain. Then the elephant. Elephants are terrifying to horses, particularly those not used to them. Mounted troops in an adjacent square to elephants will be disordered, though friendly cavalry will not be as disorders as the enemy would. In close combat they are devastatingly effective against enemy cavalry. They are reasonably effective against enemy foot, though unlikely to win against a steady pike phalanx. The best tactic against them is to shoot at them until they panic. If they are padding en route, they can spread dismay among their friends in a wide area, two squares in all directions. Good to know. Up in front here we have uh, Numidian light javelin men. Javelins are short range weapons which can only shoot at units in adjacent square. After five turns of shooting, yeah we know that one, don't we? And then they got slings, range of two squares and after five turns they will be out also, out of ammunition. Then we got uh, Gallic Cavalry, we know those guys. And the Numidian Light Horse are famous skirmishes. They will avoid close combat, evading if charged by heavy troops. And however, they can harass the enemy with javelins, perhaps disrupting them. Okay, so that's a misc mask of different things. Misc mask. What do we got? We got slingers, light javelin, and archers. We also have one elephant and some Meron armored cavalry in the back. Sistoforio, Sistoforoi, that's me. This is King Pyrrhus. Also some cavalry over here. And let's see what we have here. We got uh, Citizen Hoplites, Veteran Pike, Italian Foot, more Pike, more Foot, more Phalanx, uh, Foot and Hoplites again. We have another elephant over here, so we got two elephants. Right, so let's see. I need to drag my units around so that they will better match up to what we're dealing with here. We need these phalanx units. Let's see. Well, let me just read this first. The Macedonian style pike phalanx is the toughest infantry formation of the age and is a frontal fight. Uh, in a frontal fight, sorry. These pike men are veterans and should fight particularly well. However, in rough or difficult terrain, the phalanx will become disordered and then becomes easy prey. When on the offensive, pike phalanxes will follow up pushed back units on foot. If not already in close combat, pike phalanxes can form squares so that they present no, present no flanks to be attacked. But then they can't do anything. Alright, let me just see here. Uh, you can swap units if one would end up outside his own deployment area. You can drag. Can we drag these guys? Oh, slings. We already know about the slings. When you select a unit, all the units in the same command are highlighted. Yeah, I know that. Form square, leave square. Um, let me see this one again. You can drag, move, or swap units to any highlighted tile until you are happy with their positions. I'm not happy with their positions. Oh, like that. Okay, they can't gain any further forward than they already are. All right, let's see that. So what we want is the phalanx to come through. Uh, on the ground level. So I'm thinking if we move these guys out of the way. These citizen hoplites fight in traditional Greek style as a phalanx of spear-armed heavy foot. They are poorly drilled and hence unmaneuverable. 
They will find it difficult to stand up to Roman legionnaires, blah blah blah. Yeah, I want my veteran pike over there. Italian foot. Get them out of the way. So that we have the, all the phalanxes over here. And they will be... They will have the hoplites on the side. Unfortunately, this hoplite will be in the back first. And then move back on the side. And then we have the foot guys. On the side there. They can go on the hill, by the way. They will not be disrupted by that. The elephants also need to stay on the ground. Can we put it here? This is a sub general. He can supply command controlled units of his own or other divisions, except those of allied generals. He can only join units of his own division. So his own division is only these guys over here. So let's just put him on the road. And then his horses, um, they should not be next to it, as we remember. But they can go over here. horses should we can they move around I think this hill is probably too steep let's see difficult slope severe disorders mounted elephants and heavy foot disorders other except light foot now I think I just follow behind and then move out to the side once that is opened up this is the general how do we get the elephants through though? Why do we want the elephants? Hmm. Let's see, the Macedonian lancers are effective in close combat against other cavalry or light foot, but not in frontal combat against heavy or medium foot. Right, so these are horse hunters. So he's got the cavalry over here, the Gallic cavalry, and also the Nomidian light horse. I want my own cavalry to take care of that. Too bad I cannot start on the hill. I'm going to put it there. I don't know if this is good or not. Let's uh, let's get it going. So sounds like the enemy is. Is it my turn or? Yeah, it is my turn. Let's get the panels up. Right. Blah blah blah. Right, let's see how far we can get these guys. Open ground. What is this? Move whole command. Oh, that's a good. Uh, that's a good idea. I can move all of them up there. That's pretty good. They can also turn. Like that. That makes things a lot easier. Alright, so they're well positioned there. Then we want the phalanx to come up behind. I'm just going to move these guys individually. And then the flank. Actually, I could have moved them all because they're all just moving forward. Also, the cavalry, we will move them over there. And then we got the elephants, let's move them forward. 
and the other cavalry here in the back. Uh, this general is the commander in chief. He can supply command control to units of his own other divisions. The CNC can join units of his own division and those of sub generals, but not those of allied generals. Let's see how that goes. Confirm. Uh, the enemy. Oh, they have more in here than woods. They're just coming straight forward. get my cavalry through over here so the phalanx they need to get forward two squares so these guys are gonna have to move forward what are these guys light javelin men want to get the first shot on these guys the slingers they don't have to move as far ahead these are also javelin men turn and shoot all right so they are disrupted now good 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 and these are archers they both have a range of four squares, but shoot at half effect beyond two. Good to know. We can put them, let's see, these guys can move over there. Let's put them up here on the hill. And we can even take a shot at these guys, but the range is, makes it only half. So let's, uh, let's save the ammo. Remember we have all these Puini foot coming, uh, maybe on the hill. So I want my cavalry to move over here. And then we need the phalanx to come forward. Protected by these guys on the flanks. What about these guys? These are slingers. They will just move up one, turn and shoot. Nice. Then we want these guys up the flank. These guys are just extras. We're probably going to need them over here. No, we got foot soldiers here, Italian foot. Let's just move them up. And then these guys will go there. Bring the elephants forward. And then let's see if we can get the Cavalry out. Not this turn. Let's turn them around and then these guys up here. Alright, I think we are ready to go. Alright, I just got fragmented. Uh, let's see. Numidian light javelin men, spear plus 100. Our light javelin men, light spear plus 100. So I was just very unlucky there. Anyway, they fell back. Slingers are attempting to evade successfully. Perfect. Now the infantry moving forward. light cavalry coming through I want to charge them with my own cavalry he did not move his uh, Saracus and call it we call it cavalry here all right let's assess the situation we have cat we have archers right here they're gonna get overrun but I want to get a full volley in here nice same goes for the light javelin men. They're just gonna hit these guys. They 
pass the cohesion test. The slingers here will stand and fight. Fragmented the enemy. These guys are in trouble. They're fragmented. I want to move them out of the way, but that's not possible right now. The phalanx will stay where it is, and then these hoplites are very good against cavalry, if I remember correctly, but they will probably evade. Let me see where the odds are. 29, 68, 3, and then 99. They will definitely evade. Maybe we should try this one first and see if I can glue these guys. No, they're also evading. Rear attack, which will disrupt the enemy unit. That's pretty good. And fragment them as well. Nice. Not routed, but fragmented. That means we can move these guys up. Or, what about the cavalry? We also got the slingers. Yeah, I'm gonna move these guys up here. Keep the line going. And then the slingers in the back. Take a shot there. Ten casualties. And this will probably prompt them to move out of the way when my cavalry comes forward like this. Not enough uh, to actually attack them. Okay, so do I want these guys up on the hill? Put them over there. Bring the elephant through. I think the lion will stand put. Stay put. This elephant will move to this side. And then we'll bring the cavalry over here. Something like that. Alright, let's see how that goes. Right, my god. Ah, I forgot to move the. Uh, cavalry in the center. Impact up here is pretty even. Same goes for that one, but they have two extra units. Now that will make a difference, I think. It's just overwhelming. I need the elephant up there. Comes the enemy cavalry. Hmm. The melee continues, and we have now broken those guys. So they're out of the way. I probably need to move the others back. There we go, it's my turn. I think I'm going to put in a break here, and I'll be back with more in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.